Hello, Eason here, and welcome to 2019. Same shit, different year. Today I'm here with an update on the Arch Enemy photo controversy. For those of you who do not know what I'm talking about, I have a video on the subject, so check it up and get caught up. For the rest of you, I have some interesting news. Firstly, on the 30th of December, Marta Gabriel, the woman behind Thunderbolt Clothing, issued a statement titled The End of Thunderbolt Clothing, which is as follows. Statement begins. As many of you seems to follow this story, here's an update and a final statement. You can see my previous statement and an apology from December 28 in my previous post. The photographer, Jay Salmarin, accepted my apology for reposting the photo he took without having his permission, and as this was his request, I made a donation to the charity organization of his choice, the Dutch Cancer Society. I believe we can say this ends the dispute between us. However, as I am not able to handle the amount of hate and threats that I received and keep on receiving, I decided to do what I think is best in this situation, to end the being known as Thunderbolt clothing. It's hard to use the word company here, as since day one it was just one person, me. I apologize for not being strong enough and for not being the next internet hero that keep on saying haters gonna hate. Within the last two days I received literally hundreds of comments and messages that I'm a whore, a not a communist, a worthless cunt, and that I should either quickly die or that I should kill myself. There is no anger in me, and I apologize everyone that felt hurt or upset by this situation. Anyway, there is no Thunderbolt clothing anymore. You won. Statement ends. Now before I move on to the statement that Angela Gasso issued after this one, what the hell, people? Look, I could understand if Marta Gabriel got some vitriol after the article broke, mainly because it was her actions that made commercial use of copyrighted work an actual question, but I think being the only party to this mess to come up and apologize deserved respect, not hate. Furthermore, are we forgetting that it wasn't Marta Gabriel's attitude, but Angela Gasso stepping in and threatening Jay Salmarin that actually kicked this thing off? According to her own statement, Marta Gabriel contacted Alyssa Whitegloss immediately upon being contacted by Mr. Salmarin. She was told that she should take down the photo and that someone else will take care of it. We now know that the someone else in question was Angela Gasso and we know how she handled it. This just proves my point that this whole thing could have been resolved internally and or between Gabriel and Salmarin had Angela Gasso not stepped in or at least stepped in and acted like the professional that she is supposed to be. But far from moving to resolve the situation in any meaningful way, Angela Gasso immediately switched to trying to strong arm Mr. Salmarin. Speaking of, Angela Gasso wasted no time in issuing a statement of her own and it has to be seen to be believed. I will not be reading that statement in full mainly because it is too long and we would be stuck here forever trying to get to the end of it. Instead I'm going to touch upon the highlights. Okay first of all, Angela Gasso continues to keep up her condescending attitude by calling Mr. Salmarin Mr. Photographer throughout the statement, which is, I'm sure you would all agree, very, very mature. Second, she starts out by saying, I am reacting to the bully rally this photographer has set loose with his well-crafted, well-timed mashup of different subjects at hand. I mean, we're at the beginning of this statement and already this is starting to sound like someone playing the victim card and accusing Mr. Salmarin of being behind the so-called bully rally. Furthermore, in the opening salvos of this statement, Angela Gasso mentions twice that the article consists of Mr. Salmarin putting together different issues, but she doesn't mention what these different issues are. She then goes on to say that the details often get lost in the emotion of the narrative, and the narrative is often controlled by who presents the story first. While this may hold true from a news reporting standpoint, it does not really hold weight here, mainly because Angela Gasso seems to want us to consider her side of the story. You know, the story where she threatened the photographer with blacklisting. Then she addresses the uh, copyright issue. She says, and I quote, Arch Enemy did not post any of his pictures. No breach of copyright here. While it is true that nobody else from Arch Enemy did anything, Alyssa White Gluz wasn't entirely innocent. But contrary to what Angela Gasso seems to believe, Alyssa White Gluz did not catch flack because she shared the said photo in her Instagram.
Instagram. She caught flack because she came out and displayed a surprising lack of understanding as to what commercial use is and then labeled her fans teenagers from different countries who do not have a stellar enough grasp of English to truly understand the situation. Which, you know, might just be me, but I don't think anybody would appreciate being talked down to in this way. So, moving forward, Angela Gasso, in a surprising moment of clarity, concedes that Marta Gabriel reposting the picture on Thunderbolt Clothing's Instagram might have constituted commercial use. Of course, the good times never last because she follows that up by asking why Mr. Selmarin didn't just invoice the 500 euros and donated it to said charity. Are we seriously going to pretend that you were actually going to pay 500 euros to this man? I mean, is my memory failing me or what? Because I seem to recall that this whole incident stemmed from you not wanting to pay this man anything whatsoever. In fact, I seem to recall you saying that what Mr. Salmarin did was an attempt at extortion. I'm not an expert on temporal mechanics, but I figure if I backpedaled this fucking hard, I would be able to travel back in time. So the issue wasn't Mr. Salmarin trying to extort money from you or Alyssa White Gloves. The issue was he wasn't being transparent enough for your liking for you to actually pay him for the commercial use of his work and not threaten him. That's, uh interesting, I guess? And it gets even more interesting as Angela Gasso, with what I think is a straight face, says that she thinks Mr. Salmarin sharing the emails between her and him to be unethical. But wait, there's more. She then says she did not actually blacklist him. Well then, first off, first off, are we gonna pretend that Mr. Salmarin sharing the threats made to him was the actual unethical thing, not the threats that were made? Like seriously, is that the order of the day? So it wasn't unethical, that you threatened him, it was unethical that he shared this with the world and you got caught. Nice. Furthermore, do you want credit for not actually blacklisting this guy? Really? So you were only trying to intimidate him into shutting up and you think this is okay? Like, do you want me to be impressed or something that you didn't follow through? You know what this is like? This is like sitting down in a negotiation, putting a gun on the table, and then when it's over you stand up and pat yourself on the back for not actually shooting the guy. And unless my stance on this was abundantly clear, I would like to state it clearly. Threats are not okay. You know, the only point on which Angela Gasso and I would have been in agreement in all of this would be that threats are not okay. If Angela Gasso, Alyssa White Gloss, Marta Gabriel, or anyone else involved in this are receiving threats, then that is some fucked up way to behave. But on the flip side, we only would have been in agreement because Angela Gasso seems to think that threats to other people's livelihoods at the very least becomes okay when she doesn't actually follow them through. Not only is this massively self-serving and hypocritical, it's also spineless and bullshit. I'm sorry, but crying bully when the whole incident stemmed from you acting like a bully does not afford you any leniency, nor does trying to play this off like the whole incident is like a death metal album cover where a gigantic monster descends upon the helpless victims. Gasso ends her statement with, and I quote, You are welcome to discuss on my Facebook page. Page, no comments disabled. I will not tolerate any threats concerning my person, my family, and my friends. These will be pursued. Hate to break it to you, but this is exactly what Mr. Salmarin did. You made a threat, he pursued it. Remind me again why you're finding fault with that?